Good day people, welcome uh, to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Green. In today's video we are going to look at gold and silver. We are going to use Elliot Wave Analysis to see where gold and silver are heading. First we are going to look at uh, gold. I'm using monthly chart in front of you here and that we are going to see which way the, the price is going to heading. Uh, before we actually discuss the uh, wave structure within the price movement I want to point out a couple of very important things and one is and these are the overbought conditions right over here this is RI RSI uh, plotted on a monthly time frame it's indicating that we have seen overbought conditions at historical highs right over here so you guys can see one two three and four points in last 10 12 years these are the historical values that we have seen right now in last previous few months we are seeing a similar value at uh, momentum as well we are seeing the uh, historical top uh, occurred and then we have seen a reversal in price movement this is also in connection with the historical price movements uh, momentum values in last 10 to 12 years as well so uh, the point is that I'm myself considering is that uh, gold was overbought right at this condition and that gives us that we are uh, looking towards a reversal in price movement and that would be wave A, wave B and wave C of an expanded flat. So I believe that we are going to see gold, the price of gold coming down on a weekly time frame. We can uh, let's see on a daily time frame. Yeah, on a daily time frame we have a better price movement that we can actually look at it. So I'm considering this whole price movement as wave one, and this is a wave two. The price, the first zigzag, I'm considering as first zigzag. Then this is W, this is X, and this is Y. The second uh, zigzag is of course truncated. I'm considering this as sub wave wave one, and this whole price movement starting from this bottom to this high as an expanded flat. This is wave A of the expanded flat. This is wave B of the expanded flat, and this is wave C of expanded flat. The reversal from the top is also indicating that we are probably seeing the earlier part of wave 3 of 3. I'm expecting that in next few months the price of gold would be crashing. Let's have a look. Before uh, we actually go to silver, I want to point out that if you're looking for the break of trend line, then we are trying to capture the wave B with this trend line, right? Before the price comes down and it breaks this support line, it will be too late to take a trade. Another tr possible trend line is that we can connect the last uh, leg and that is this one. So if you try to connect the price movement in this area as well, it is going to be still, at least for me, too late. right? So uh, I'm considering that we should be looking at a better price movement to see if the support is at a smaller degree is broken or not. And that is for that case, we can use the this price movement as well. So we have seen the uh, drop, the clear drop of the support as well. And then we have also seen on four hourly chart that we can see that there is a drop of support as well. That would be this one. Plus, we have also seen the stronger reversal in this area. That's an important support area as well for me. I'm seeing the support stronger reversal area. And I'm expecting that in next week we'll start seeing prices falling down further. If you want to use an uh, important uh, price movement, for me the important price points are 2, 1 over this and 1 at the start of this. And if you want, you can use also the start of this price movement as a critical price movement. If price, however, falls above this area, that will be an indication that our wave count is wrong. Now let's have a look at uh, silver. Now, I do believe that we have created the bottom of the silver market at a cycle level. So we can consider this as an impulse movement and this as a correction. So you can consider this wave 1 or wave 3, depending on where you're looking at in the historical price level. However, there is a possibility. Uh, let's first of all look that this we have seen an end of correction, right? In that case, this is a wave one of the next uh, cycle level wave, and then this is going to be wave two. However, if there is a possibility that the correction is not complete right over here, this that will be an alternate count. In that case, this is wave A, this is wave B, and this is wave C of expanded flat. 
in that case when prices fall down we will be seeing a new bottom so keep those things in mind as far as the price movement itself is concerned both our main count and alternate count are indicating that we are going to see st the reversal in the silver market um, I'm considering this price movement on a four hourly chart let me show you as a triangle so I'm considering this whole pattern this is wave A, wave B, wave C, wave D and wave E as a triangle so this is our fifth wave which is truncated I'm considering this as a five wave structure starting from this top to right over here so considering this as wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 and then wave 5 so this is wave A of the correction, this is wave B of the correction, a flat correction and I'm expecting that we are going to see a five wave structure that will complete the zigzag patterns that actually started right from here. So there is wave A, wave B and then a five wave structure. So wave 1 right over here, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 or wave 5. So I'm seeing a deeper price movement. We have to be really, when prices fall down, we have to be really careful that is quite possible for market to create a new bottom as well we have we'll keep that in mind wish you luck, good luck with your trading see you guys in next uh, in the next while thank you for visiting have a good one and bye bye